In this unit, we will perform a simple transient simulation using the heat solver to simulate the time dependency of temperature in a glass thin film covered with graphene. The project file contains two materials, glass and graphene, and two geometric objects, thin film and graphene. Note that the length and thickness of both the thin film and graphene objects are slightly larger than the specifications. This will cause the length and thickness of the simulation region to define the dimensions of the simulated thin film and makes it easier to change their dimensions. The material for thin film is set to SiO2 and the material for the graphene object is set to graphene. The simulation region is set to be two-dimensional. Since we want to see the time evolution of the temperature profile, the heat solver mode has been set to transient. When using this mode, the transient tab in the heat solver properties window can be used to set up the transient simulation. For our simulation, set the minimum time step to 1 microsecond or 1 E9 femtoseconds, maximum time step to 10 microseconds or 1 E10 femtoseconds, and both tolerance limits to 0.001. There are two thermal boundary conditions left and right defined in the boundary conditions group. The left boundary condition sets the left edge of the thin film at a fixed temperature of 300 K. The right boundary condition is set to the transient mode and raises the temperature on the right edge from 300 K to 400 K at T equals 1 microsecond and then keeps it constant at 400 K up to 200 microseconds. The end time in the temperature table of the right boundary condition also sets the end time for the transient simulation. Let's run the simulation. You will notice that during the simulation the job manager window will show you the exact times at which the simulation is being performed. After running the simulation, right click on the solver object and select visualize thermal to view the temperature profile. The thermal data set has multiple results or attributes saved. To view the temperature profile, select the T attribute from the list of attributes in the visualizer. The temperature profile will be a function of time, which will be shown in the parameter table below the image. Select the T parameter and change the time using the slide on the right side of the table. As can be seen from the temperature profile, the heat coming from the right edge spread much quickly near the top of the glass film due to the presence of the highly conductive graphene layer. As the time passes, the bottom of the film catches up and the temperature distribution becomes even and linear throughout the film.